And also, I think, I don't know about you guys, but doing the placements back home in the parishes mm. and the diocese, that's really helped just to keep a sense of where we're going mm. and where we've come from in terms of our vocation. Absolutely. I remember saying to, um, I said to the parishioners in Newcastle under Lyme, just as I was about to leave them, when we did those extended placements when we were finishing our third year, and as I was kind of saying goodbye, I, I said, you must be doing something right in this parish because I don't want to go back to seminary. I want to stay <laughs> here with you guys. They've been, yeah. for all of us, I'm sure that that's been the time we've looked forward to most, that month or so in a parish about September, because that's the snapshot of, mm. of what we're training for. And that's what, that's what will really sort of feed your sense of vocation, particularly if, if you've had a rough year, which we've all had. I mean, you, you remember my second year was really rough and we've, you know, we've each had years we've been up and down. And then you get into a parish, you see what's waiting for you mm. in the future and the amount of help and prayer that, mm. that good ordinary Christian people will give you there. I mean, I got such a boost from that. From that parish and yeah that's that's so much of the year i spend looking forward to getting to parishes the thought of doing it full time is really exciting <laughs>